हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू आवर चैनल सिंप्लीफाइड कंप्यूटर साइंस कंसेप्ट्स बाय प्रोफेसर ऋतुजा टुडे वी विल बी लर्निंग ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम स्ट्रक्चर्स आउट ऑफ दैट वी विल बी लर्निंग अबाउट द सिंपल स्ट्रक्चर सो लेट अस गो अहेड सो वी विल डेल्व इनटू ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम स्ट्रक्चर्स नाउ सो एज वी नो what is an operating system operating system is nothing but an interface between the computer's hardware and the user of the computer so the design of this operating systems must be well structured so that it can function properly there are various types of operating system structures such as simple structure layered structure monolithic structure micro kernel structure but in this lecture we will be focusing on simple structure so let us get ahead so what is the simple structure of operating systems this is the block diagram of the simple structure operating systems wherein the first level is application program followed by system programs then comes the device drivers and at the bottom we have bios device drivers let us understand this one by one application programs so if you see here we have application programs like word excel powerpoint uh gmail netflix what are all these these are nothing but application programs wherein the users can directly use this particular programs then come system programs system programs are nothing but the interface between the user interface and the system call for example let us say that we want to perform some file addition or let's say we want to create a file so we have a let's say if you go to the word file and click on file menu it will give you open menu but then it is just on the interface at the back end a system call is generated and the file is created for us this is what the use of system program is then comes device drivers what is a device driver device driver is nothing but it is an interface between the operating systems and the computer's hardware wherein the operating systems cannot directly communicate with the actual hardware it takes their help of device drivers to communicate with the device then comes at the bottom is bios device drivers bios is nothing but basic input output system wherein the post is located post is post stands for power on self test what is power on self test so let's say if you start a computer at the back end it checks all the devices or all the components are in place if it is in place then only the desktop screen comes up for us so all this is stored this bios and post is stored on a rom that is read only memory and to start the system we require some drivers and these are those drivers bios dri device drivers so hop this is clear now let us understand with one example as i told you this is a block diagram wherein application layers are followed by system programs and device drivers and bios device drivers so if you just check you will be able to understand that if application program can have access to bios device drivers and one layer uh, one layer which is below it that is to system programs again system programs can have access to device drivers and bios device drivers device drivers can have access to bios device drivers so let us try to understand this so let's let's say this is a uh, customer of a bank he wants to withdraw some amount so he writes a check he submits it to the cashier or maybe uh, the one who accepts that particular check then he takes that check gives it to the cashier the cashier goes to the locker then from locker the money is taken out taken out and uh, hand it over to the user but then if it was the case that each and every customer would have access to the locker then it was it would be vulnerable why because obviously we cannot we cannot know or if there are lots of users there is there are chances of theft so this becomes a critical task in the similar manner if you just apply this particular concept in our structure wherein if you see this particular every one every layer is able to access the bios device drivers which means that the 
system becomes vulnerable. Why? Because the application program direct access to device drives. System programs direct access to device drives. Device drivers direct access to device drives. So every layer is able to access the basic hardware. That is the device drivers. Hence the system becomes vulnerable. And uh, at the device drivers level, the resources that are that are there are very critical. So malicious or harmful programs can access base hardware and this can le lead to lot of catastrophics. I hope this is understood. Now let us go to the demerits and merits of this system. So the one of the uh, uh, major example of this is MS-DOS operating system. What are the merits? So it is obviously it is easy to develop, maintain and provides good performance as layers are limited. That is why it is easy to develop, maintain and obviously it will good good performance. What are the demerits? So demerits is that the BIOS device drivers can be accessed by all layers above it and therefore it is vulnerable and therefore vulnerable to whom? To the unauthorized access. Then systems can crash as per users as per programs have access to base hardware. As the programs, the application programs have the access to the hardware part that is the BIOS device driver, systems can crash. And the last one is that they are not well protected. Yes, why they are not well protected? Because every layer has access to the device drivers and directly can access the device driver. So by mistake, if any unauthorized person comes and wants to access that, then there is no protection provided. So that is why it is not well protected. So this is all about the simple structure of operating systems. Thank you everyone for watching this video. Please do like, share and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.